Hello everybody, hey, welcome back to my another video of Let's Play Dungeons & Dragons Online. So we're still in the Borderlands, we're about to do the last quest, so we're just going to speak to this handsome guy right here. Um, let's have a look. The Cult of Evil Chaos. Ooh, looks like it's more hobgoblins, so that's interesting. Um, there is going to come a point where hobgoblins are going to become very common. Um, down the line in one of the uh, packs I'm gonna do but that's that that's a bit far away yeah I don't think we're gonna be anywhere near that for a bit um, but yeah let's go to it let's go do the final quest so that quest is all the way over here I will be right back when I'm right in front of it Alrighty guys, I'm back again. So we are here with the final quest right here. So the Temple of Evil Chaos. Let's go inside. So this is called Total Chaos and it's level 2. Interesting. So this is a level higher than the rest of them, which um, makes me think that this may be the final quest of the bunch. So let's go ahead and buff ourselves and get ready for it. Wow, quite a bit of XP. As I said before though, there is still an XP bonus going on. It may not be still going on by the time this video Whispery is released. Oh my gosh. Announce the presence of undead. Oh my god, there's a lot of undead. Not just some, there's like a lot. Oh god, there's some whispers as well. Okay. This place looks like a maze. Oh my gosh, this may be a long one. Um, let's go... Let's go to the door first. I always like opening doors. Seems good enough. Oh my gosh, okay. So it looks like this is for a few people. Oh! My thingy's been cursed. Okay, we could probably just kill him in his sleep to make it easier. Um, right, okay, so this looks like a kitchen area. So I need to slay most of the cultists. I need to find and confront their leader, find the missing codex page, explore all the nooks and crannies of the cave network, 11 left, put all the undead guardians off this cursed place. So we might as well just do everything. Because, I, like I said, I've never done this class before, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> so let's have a look-see. So some very lit caverns that is nice let's go through i feel like i can s there should be a shrine somewhere so if we discover the shrine first oh oh can we not enter it oh well that's a shame let's go into this door then let's see what we have you hear footsteps down below and a gruff voice calls out put them in the manacles boss I'll be right over. A large person does a double take. Let's... Hey, you're not one of us. What the... The torturer falls. <laughs> His victims avenged. Will their souls find rest? Interesting. All right, okay. Wow, it looks like I actually went into the right place. because There are some keys. Look at, look at me go. Look at me, like, go. This is me by instinct, right? I just... <laughs> I just casually went into this room. So this is all good. So we have a shrine. So if I so desperately need it, we can always go back to it. Um, let's go in this direction next. Um, I may need to get some better spells with the undead. Let's have a look. The prisoner in this cell is a Medusa. Ew. You don't look stupid enough to be a cultist. She calls out. Tell me what you're doing here, and I won't turn you to stone. Right, okay. Um, so you don't look stupid. Yep. Um, right, so you can kill this. So I could use my diplomacy skills if I were to set you free. How would I know you're going to turn me to stone? Right, okay. So, I don't know what this does for me, so... Freed of her bonds, the Medusa agrees to help you. Oh! Take me to their leader, she says. 
I think it's time for a small chat, face to face. Alrighty, so it looks like we have another adventurer on the way, so let's go. Oh my gosh, there are so many nooks and crannies. Who are you? Oh my gosh, I have like... <laughs> a crawling, broken creature scampers towards you, hissing. Oh my god! I have so many friends! I have so many, like, adventure friends. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Um. Wow, so we've unlocked the door. So finding those keys early on was very handy. Um. You hear a shuffle. Then a strange. Oh crap, I hate these things. From behind the crates. The sleepy gelatinous tube falls to pieces. It's ambition to eat you dies short. Yep, so as you saw from my skeleton, um, don't get too close to those oozes. Usually it's better to attack them from afar because they have a lot of nasty effects. Um, so it's always best to stay away from them. So the next bit we need... To, so we've discovered this area. So we just need to go into the next one. So we've done all the little nooks and crannies, which is quite nice. Everyone's a lot slower than me. I think it's because of all my buffs. Um, probably should have used the shrine before leaving. Alright, so let's put these guys to rest, shall we? Oh, there's a lot of people in here. So let's go. Um, oh my gosh. I don't know what these die to. Oh wow, Medusa. Medusa's going all in. Look at her go. Is she enjoying this? Hey. <laughs> she could join me where she wants. Oh my gosh. Unseen voices murmur from the shadows of this chamber. Take us. Take us with you. Take us away. <gasps> no, get away. Don't do it. Take the shinies. Take the shiny, huh? Optional, steal the obviously cursed table with. <laughs> I kind of want to. Should we take it? Um. As you pick up the shiny golden table there, the that's fine. Of the voices rises. Ah, uh, this is okay. So yeah, if you take it, you just get ambushed. So there's nothing wrong with that at all. I'm just going to rest a little bit just to get my uh, spell points up because I don't know the next time I'm going to find a uh, shrine. So I'm just going to do that quickly whilst I'm surrounded by all my adventurers. Um, I don't know, like, this is so cool. Like, it's nice having this many people with me. Um, obviously you don't really need them for normal, but I guess this would be very handy if you were to do this like on Elite or Hard. Or I don't know if Reaper is available in the Borderlands, so I'll just have to inform me down below. Uh, let's have a look. So, let's kill these guys. Let's go into this door first. So we have a secret door to this, well it's not a secret door, it's just a door, but it's, it's quite hidden. Oh my gosh. What humans. Stop doing stuff. I like how they're trying to curse me, but they can't. Wow, let's see how strong Medusa is. Wow, she's pretty strong. <laughs> Just go into a room and let her do her thing. Um, oh, right, okay, so this sends you back into the same room you were just in. Uh, let's keep going Medusa this way. stops in the middle of the passage. I'll stay here to make sure no one sneaks out past you, she says. I know this place well, and this is the only way out. Right, okay. So we no longer have Medusa to stick with us. At least the orc person is staying with us. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. More puzzles. 
What is this? Let's go into here first. I'm not really a puzzle per- uh, I actually do love puzzles, but it depends on the puzzles, right? Um, <laughs> you've explored another passage, yay. So my cute senses are tingling. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Oh no! The adventure is dead! Oh no! Oh no! Oh that's so sad! Oh it's just me and the skelly dude now. Okay. I will call him the skelly dude occasionally by the way. What the hell? Okay like smashing these. Fair enough. Whispery voices call to you. You shouldn't be here. Really? Step away from that. <gasps> run, run, you fool! <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. Say the whispery voices. Oh, oh it's fun, is it? It's fun. Who knows what will happen? Interesting. This gets a reaction out of the voices. Right. Right, okay, I'm a bit gutted. It looks like I don't have the kobold one. I'm guessing in the first quest there was a crest and I forgot to collect it, so it looks like I'm not able to do this. Um Oh, bless her. We can't release uh, Eula, even though she was pretty. She was pretty cool in our in our venture last time. Right, I was just making sure there wasn't a secret door there as well. But I'm really sad. Oh, I can't believe I missed that out. So yeah, in the I think it was like the first one we did. I think that's where the crest would be. So I'm quite shocked. Um. Oh gosh. The fleeing priest's voice turns into a scream. Alright, okay, so it looks like we've done the quest, but I think I'm still going to make sure I've done absolutely everything in here. So we weren't able to release Eula, but we could always discover the secret passageways and see where they lead us. So let's do that. Wait, where... All right, my senses are tingling over here. Ah, so the door was actually here. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be over there. Ooh, treasure. Right, guys, this is why I say search skills are cool. You may not be able to do this with certain classes because a lot of classes don't require you to have a decent search skill, but hey, this is so useful. <laughs> All oh, right, okay. So that is some of the network. So the next thing we need is this way. All oh, right, so explore the nooks and crannies. We can't assemble the Cobalt Shrine of Chaos. I need to have words from Medusa and I need to put all the unrest guardians to this cursed place to rest. The Medusa smiles sweetly at you. I believe this concludes our arrangement. Oh my gosh! What the hell? Forever. The Medusa snarls at you. I'll turn this whole valley to stone if I have to. I am its rightful queen. Serve and be spared, weaklings. My the god. Falls. Her plans for the valley, good or ill, die with her. Oh my gosh, right. So that was kind of crazy. Um, 
Right, so there must be something I've completely missed, so I'm just going to see if I can find any more of the areas. As you can see, this spell here, you've probably not seen me use it yet. It does heal me completely, so it's super useful, but it does heal undead as well, so I need to stay away from the undead when I do this. Um, it'd be nice to let me know how much of these guys are left. So that would be very handy. But we're going to do this anyway. Let's have a look. There could be some extra um, chests that we haven't seen yet. So let's go. So let's go into the rubble. Um, nothing in here. Oh, floating dat. Yep, that, that is not sinister at all. That's probably the scariest thing I've seen in this quest. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we haven't gone in this direction at all. So that's handy to know. Um, oh, is this something over here? The passage here? ahead is blocked by a cave-in. About 20 man months would be enough to dig through it. Or five dwarf months, give or take. Fair enough. Now let's go into this door. Oh my gosh. You notice an expensive looking gem embedded in the throne made of human bones. Oh god, here we are. So, let's take it, shall we? You hear the soft scraping of bones. The dead Right, so I wanna gab them all in one place so we can um, damage them all at once as well. There we go. The last of the undead guardians of the temple crumples. Will they rise again? Or will they stay down? That is perfect. So the only thing we weren't able to do was the um, assemble the Cobalt Shrine of Evil Chaos. So basically we've got to get one of the um, one of the tablets. So it's a good it's a good note uh, to remember. If you see it, definitely collect it so you can do the optional. Because it's always nice to do the optionals just for the extra XP. You don't always have to, but I think if you're a new player, I think. Exploration, exploration is just such a good thing for you to do to get some experience. Obviously um, they're optional for a reason so if you think it's not worth your time then obviously don't don't go for it but I think I gave a very linear um, passage on how to complete this quest so that is all good so we're gonna get our reward right now. So what do we have? So we have plus two strength oh my gosh plus four moves silently now this isn't really ideal for me uh, the only thing I could think this could be ideal for is maybe like a ranger. I think that'd be quite cool. Um, definitely don't want that. Don't want that. Uh, I think again it's a case of selling the most expensive items so let's do that. And now we're going to speak to this guy and say hey look we've done everything. What's my reward? Let's go. And yeah we do get a reward so that is awesome. So we completed all the quests on the borderlands so we get a reward for doing that not gonna lie these look very this is very anticlimactic um <laughs> so let's have a look so open lock no um healing not really hmm um so if i was to give my opinion about whether or not to do this over core force it depends, like a lot of the items that we got from the chest and so forth, like the because there are some rare drops. I think I'm wearing something right now. Yeah, like high steps, for example. Like it's it's a bit higher level than what you'd get for other things of that level. So to be honest, like if you wanted to go to the borderlands and not do Corphos, that is completely fine. And also the ingots as well are actually really solid. Like they give you a nice variety of things that could be so useful later on. I think it'd actually be worth it. Oh my gosh, and I have so many things. What is this? Definitely cursed tableware. What do I do with this? Do I just sell it? <laughs> And I have a temptingly large gem. Alright, okay, so these items have actually stayed in my inventory. That is cool. Uh, we've got a normal potions of light wounds. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I may end up selling these or I may end up putting my bank for another character. Um, but the next area we are going to go into is the heart. Well, 
I say the harbour, I'm going to do a video of me finding all the um, the rare monsters in the Borderlands. Um, so where you can find the crests for the horses. I think it's crests, I'm not entirely sure. Again, I need to do a bit more research and I'll try and give a smooth guide on how to get everything. And then after that video, I should be going into the harbour, which is a lot of, a lot of where the free-to-play quests are. The Borderland quests are an addition so you do have to spend money or use your turboing points for it however if you manage to unlock the uh free quests in time this comes with that so if you unlock the free quest you should be able to do the borderlands like i did because at the moment i'm not paying for anything at all this is all with my uh, free quest code so anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you had a lovely time and i'll see you again soon bye